Hey guys, gonna make a quick tutorial here about how to use on-screen messages for when you need to say um, alert a parent about a child that they need to come pick up. Super easy to do and uh, here's how you do it. If you look up in this section here where I have messages, that's where you're gonna use that. <clears throat> um, you can also find it if it's not in your toolbar here. Oops, I don't need my video bin. It's not in your toolbar here. Um, you can find it to view messages here. It'll pull up there, or you can just if you can click it in this guy here. Um, it's easy to customize your toolbar by going to view, customize toolbar. Um, Whatever is not in here that you want to use on a regular basis, you can just click it and drag it into the section that you want. Anyways, so how to use an on-screen message? If you click the messages um, button here. Uh, your screen might look like this, might look like this. Uh, you'll have a couple of different options here. You can make your own. I suggest you just use a general message. And I'm going to give you a lot more detail here than you probably need, but I'll just show you how it works. So if you click message, a um, couple of things you need to know is what your message text is going to say and then where it's going to show up on the screen. The where it shows up on the screen is done by the template. Um, so you will now have a template in your... Um, template bundle under Liberty message slides that says something called child number if you choose that that's gonna put the right font and drop it in the lower left hand corner of your screen up here I'll show you how that works now the way the message text works is you can type in whatever you want for example child number and then you can add whatever you want um, you can also use these little fill in the blanks here. Um, the fill in the blanks, I will show you how those work. Um, if you wanted to write a longer message, like would the parents of some kid come to room, room number. So you'll see that those blanks just showed up here. So then when I put these in, I type Johnny and come to room 4B. When I click show message, it pops up here and it populates whatever I've chosen here and whatever I've en entered into here. So if I click the output, you'll see how it looks. Would the parents of Johnny come to room 4B? I think that's unnecessary for our context. Um, so we can get rid of this. I think we can just put our child number in for four five six three we click show message it pops up on the screen um, it will show up and it will stay up as long as you leave it up so if I click out of this and I'm I've got a slide up you'll notice that my child number is still showing up here so it doesn't go away until you click messages and click hide because you can choose display I mean, you can do it for like a minute and it'll automatically go away. You can do it for 20 seconds, it'll automatically go away. You can click it till you remove and then you go in and you hide it and it goes away. So however you want to run that is good. And that is how you use an on-screen message.